Hey guys, Adam from Elixir here. In this video, we're going to be looking at the navigation for the Hive theme. The Hive theme has a sort of dual navigation. It's got one copy of the navigation up in the title bar at the top of the theme, as well as another copy of the navigation in the sidebar in the content container. I've already got a project file started here, and we've fleshed out some of the navigation so we can have a look at how it works and uh, where it's displayed. So if we look right here at the top, we notice we've got an icon for our navigation, and if we click that, we get a drop-down navigation of all of our page uh, names. You'll notice right here the middle one that says Samples, it's got an arrow next to it, and this indicates that that um, page has child items. Now if we click that, it'll uh, twirl down to give us um, all of the pages that are um, child pages of the Samples page. If we click Samples again, it'll twirl back up. Um, if no matter how many times we click samples, we won't be taken to a page. That page has its uh, link pretty much removed, and so it becomes a placeholder. So whatever you put there, it'll just be a, um, a way to indicate that there are child pages there. So all of these are uh, child uh, pages of our samples page, but we can also have um, child pages within that as well. So let's go to edit mode, and we will uh, create something like that. We're just going to drop some of our uh, current pages right here on our photo album page. And now we've made these three pages, the contact form, the markdown page, and the sitemap page, we've made them children of the photo album page. So we have three different layers of navigation going. So let's go ahead and go back to our preview mode and we can see how that um, is formatted in our menu. So we'll click the uh, drop down here and we'll click samples and that twirls down and you'll notice it just insets it a little bit further so you see we have uh, we're on the markdown page and that is inset from the photo album page which is a um, uh, child of the sample page so uh, we can get some nice deep navigation with these three levels and uh, all of it stores out of the way uh, simply and nicely with this drop down system now I mentioned that we can also have navigation in our sidebar uh, we're going to go back here to our home page and we're just going to turn our sidebar on. So we'll scroll down until we get to that setting. And we're going to put it on the left hand side. When it refreshes here, we'll scroll down to our content area. And you'll notice here on the left hand side in our sidebar, we have another copy of our navigation. It's exactly like the navigation that we saw above, but it's down here in the uh, content area so that our visitors can get to it a little more easily while they're browsing your content. It also works just like the other one. It's got a samples page here with an arrow indicating it's got child um, pages. And if we click that, it, it'll twirl down to give us all of our sub pages as well. Um, and you'll see our third level here that are all of the pages that we just added to the photo album page are all nested within it as well. We think this is a nice way of displaying the navigation. It gives your uh, visitors an easy look um, at all of your pages and lets them access them uh, quickly and easily. So. Uh, we think it really makes navigating through your site a breeze. So um, we can also look here if we um, start reducing the width of our page and our sidebar goes away. Um, it usually gets pushed down here to the bottom, which it, you'll find it right here. When that happens, when you go to our um, iPhone navigation like this, we don't want to move that um, navigation down here to the bottom. So we just go ahead and hide the sidebar navigation at this point. Um, but if we go, go up here to the top, we'll notice we still have our main navigation, and if we click on that, it's displayed right on top of our content. So uh, your visitors can still get to all of your pages uh, quickly and easily. We've got some uh, features in the um, page inspector over here that allow you to uh, change the navigation um, colors and, uh, and look and feel. Um, so you can change a lot of the, um, you, you can change the main navigation to one of these presets or you can use the color pickers to choose your own and you can um, separately choose the colors for the sidebar navigation in case you want those to look a little different than your um, main navigation. So we think this provides you a lot of flexibility when laying out your pages and uh, we hope you enjoy the Hive theme and these navigation options. Thanks for watching.